there's this certainly a common view that that there's a return sacrifice um, when it comes to ethical investing. And look, at BlackRock, we just disagree. We just don't believe that by investing sustainably, you then have to sacrifice returns. And I think we, we've got a couple of bits of data to back that up. I think without question, the first quarter of 2020, the COVID, during that pandemic, there was, there was a sort of a key test of that conviction. Is this going to bounce back? And, and we know, look, and, and certainly short term, don't, don't say that, you know, and we all know that, and again, past performance is not indicative of future performance, but it did align, the resilience of, of, of a sustainable of, uh, portfolio did align with, with reasonable performance out of the back of that downturn. I think we've also looked at a bit more of a longer term view and, and have been publishing some information since sort of mid 2018. And again, it, it demonstrates that, that sustainable investing strategies do not equal return trade-offs and they do actually have, you know, important resilient properties. So if you think about from a, from a governance point of view, you know, the, the G of ESG, we know they're having things like independent boards, you know, they're having really good governance, good data security, these sorts of things are going to be beneficial for companies and hence, you know, we really should see a better performance out of those companies. So, no, we don't think there is a sacrifice when it comes to um, it comes to investing this way. And I think, again, what it comes back to uh, is the data, is the information that is accessible by, by investors. So how transparent is that information for them? And I think uh, uh, an example that we might use here is, again, I'll mention we partnered um, uh, with MSCI for our ETF products uh, in Australia. And one of the elements that they utilise um, is what's called a controversy score. So uh, each company is given a controversy score and it's rated in a way. So that, that framework is built around uh, so sort of the international norms that you're going to find um, that are pretty widely accepted. So things like um, uh, the Declaration of Human Rights, the, the UN Global Compact. And the idea is, you know, is that company, uh, is, has a, you know, some examples might be a, a spill or um, regulatory action or, you know, other areas that might, might be relatable to, to controversies and, and they will get ranked on a scale um, of severity in terms of that controversy. In the case of the products that, that we have on market, uh, you know, having, having lots of controversy, having severe controversies will pull that, pull that company out. So I think what that, that, that means for investors is then um, you need to then sort of, again, have access to data, access to transparency, but also put your trust in companies like, like BlackRock, like MSCI, to understand that the data that they're utilising and building off is going to be relevant for you as an investor.